About a hundred years ago, the Spanish flu killed as many as 40 million people worldwide. What amazes me is how little I knew about the Spanish flu before the coronavirus. The Spanish flu started and World War I ended in 1918, yet I know way more about World War I than I ever have about the Spanish flu, even though the flu might have killed over twice as many people. In the United States, the discrepancy is even higher. About 117,000 people died in World War I, but close to 675,000 died from the Spanish flu. In terms of fatalities, the Spanish flu clearly had a huge impact on the world, but I don't remember ever learning about it in school. Let's change that and see what archaeology has to say about one of the biggest tragedies in history. Perhaps the most frequent archaeological trace of the Spanish flu is just the huge number of graves from this time period, a lot of them unmarked. Formal cemeteries greatly expanded during this time period, but not everybody made it in. A 2015 construction project in Skolkel Haven, Pennsylvania uncovered the remains of multiple people from a meadow. The graves were unmarked and without a coffin, indicating that their occupants were probably poor in life and had been buried hastily. It appears the bodies were simply put into holes, covered with lime, and left as casualties of the Spanish flu. One way that archaeologists can identify these unmarked graves is by using ground penetrating radar, or GPR. GPR works by sending electromagnetic waves into the ground. Objects in the ground reflect the waves back toward the receiver, which records the time it takes for the waves to return. The waves travel through certain materials faster than others, and can move through air very fast and water very slow. In a graveyard, the air within coffin sticks out like a sore thumb, more like a sore phalange, am I right? Which makes GPR a good way to find unmarked graves. GPR was used to find nearly 400 unmarked graves in the Washington Monumental Cemetery in New Jersey. And in a controversial decision, GPR was used to locate and exhume the bodies of seven Norwegian miners in Svalbard, who died from Spanish flu in 1918. The permafrost prevented soft tissue decay, and scientists were able to recover Spanish flu genetic material from the bodies, despite the danger of bringing a disease from the past to the present. Many unmarked Spanish flu graves have simply been found on accident, and the people within them forgotten. Just this week, I learned of a family member who died in the 1918 pandemic who I had never considered, and you probably have a family member who was impacted by this disease as well. It seems like the Spanish flu is mostly forgotten. But as we face the impacts of COVID-19, let's remember that this sort of thing does happen, it will happen again, and the next time it does, let's make sure to be better prepared. Thanks, and be safe.